This video is on how to do integer diamond problems. And, um, you know, it's a great way to practice integers, but once you get um, into algebra and learn how to factor quadratic equations, this is a really helpful tool. So, um, the top box is the product or the answer to a multiplication problem, and the bottom is the sum or the answer to the addition of these two numbers. So, negative 2 times 8, negative times a positive is a negative, 2 times 8 is 16. So when I do my integers, I just like to do the sign first and then deal with the number. So negative times positive, negative, and then deal with the number. And, um, and then finding the sum, negative 2 plus 8 is 6. Um, the next problem over here, so once again, this is the product on the top and the sum on the bottom. So negative 5 times what gives us positive 15. So once again, deal with the sign first. A negative times a negative gives us a positive. 5 times 3 gives us 15. And then finding the sum of negative 5 and plus negative 3 is negative 8. Now, these ones down below are a little bit uh, trickier because they give this, the um, product and the sum. So I always just like to put the product and the sum on top. Uh, what I recommend for these is that you write down the factors of that of that um, product. So negative 18. And at first, don't even deal with the sign. Just write down the factors. So 18 and 1, 2 and 9, and 3 and 6. So those are the factors. But because I have a negative, I'm going to write the, the things again. So 18 and 1. 2 and 9, 3 and 6. So because it's negative, I know that one of them has to be negative and one of them has to be positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these pairs and I'm going to make the first ones negative. And then the second time I do it, I'm going to make the second ones negative. So those are all of the factor pairs for negative 18. And then I want to see which combination adds to positive 7. So I can see that doesn't work. Oh, there it is right there. So negative 2 and positive 9. So let's do the same thing here. Once again, um, the clue that this is going to be have negative in it is because the bottom, when we find the sum, is negative. So I'm writing my factors of 10. Once again, just writing you know, the factors without dealing with the signs. So 5 and 10, sorry, 5 and 2, 10 and 1. And because they multiply to a positive, but when you add them, they're negative, that means that the answers that those numbers have to factors both need to be negative. So in that case, I look and see which factor pair adds to negative 7, and it's that combination right there. So negative 5 times negative 2, positive 10, and adds to negative 7. So now I want you to take out a piece of paper, and you're going to do a few of your own. So first off, write down those problems. Hit the pause button, write down those problems. And then here's the last problem to do. Okay, so do those problems and then come back in a minute. Awesome. Okay, so here we go. Um, once again, because I'm given the, the product and the sum, I'm going to write down the factors of the product. First, just ignoring the sign and just writing down what multiplies to 9. 3 times 3, 9 times 1. Because it's a negative, I know that it had to be a negative and a positive. So I'm going to write these again, the first time making the first ones all negative and the second time making the second one negative. So well, those are just the same thing, negative, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and then seeing which ones add to negative 8, and I can see that combination, negative 9 times 1 adds to negative 9, sorry, multiplies to negative 9 and adds to uh, negative 8. So same thing, factors. Um, 2 and 4, 8 and 1. Once again, because this is negative, but they multiply to a positive, that had to be two negatives. And then I look and I see that's the combination that adds to negative 6, but multiplies to negative 8. I mean, sorry, multiplies to positive 8. And then for the last factor pair, things that multiply to 16. So I have 2 and 8, 4 and 4, 16 and 1, 
And once again, it's negative. So one of them has to be negative. One of them has to be positive. So I'm going to write those uh, pairs again. And this is the same thing either way, so I don't have to write that one again. So negatives for the first one, and then make negatives for the second one, and see which pair adds to zero. So I can see the negative 4 and positive 4 do. So multiplies the negative 16 and adds to zero. So good luck. Try a bunch of these. And once again, besides being great practice for integers, it will help you when you get to factoring quadratic equations in algebra.